Okay, quick video here. This is the AOD uh, Performance Automatic dipstick install. Uh, this actually makes this legal at the track because it's actually got a locking mechanism on it. Uh, pretty simple. You know, the only thing that, if you have a stock, uh, so this actually can be an issue, especially if you're moving a motor in and out. Uh, this little grommet down here, even on the stock one, if you're getting leaking from your transmission, it can sometimes be from these cooling lines, but it also can start seeping from the bottom of your dipstick, so you can always just replace the grommet. Or in my case, I got a whole brand new transmission. I'm doing this video as part of my build, uh, so I'm trying to make this so that it actually can be searchable. Uh, it just makes it very easy for somebody to see it's outside of the car. So you're going to pull this grommet off, stick it in. Now I've already stuffed a little bit of fluid in there just so it seats in there now but here's the key now i have read and we're going to find out that uh sometimes after installing this that this needs to be bent i don't know if it hits the firewall or wherever we're going to find out but this bolt uh the one right above where the little pin for your bell housing goes so this is, you know, so this bolt is the one right above the pin for where, or the dowel that lines up the bell housing. So this is going to be the one. Now I'm not going to go ahead and torque this down. I got all the other ones torqued down, but I'm not going to actually torque this one down um, simply because uh, it's possible I might have to move or bend this. Okay, guys, welcome to the future. Just want to show you, I did not have to modify this in any way. It went straight in. I could have tightened the bolt down. Uh, even even during the motor install, it didn't in any way inhibit getting the block or getting things set in place. So you're good to go. This is actually kind of worst case because I have an aftermarket AGEK member which moves the engines back slightly. So you can see I have plenty of room in here. Okay, hope this helps. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.